The first step to producing our composite model is to export the individual model files into file types supported by the composite model viewing and analysis software, in our case, Navisworks Manage. Let's step through the simple steps for exporting files from Revit environments into common file types such as CAD DWGs, IFCs, and native NWC files. We'll start with an NWC. Let's navigate to a 3D view of the architectural shell model. Revit offers a free add-in tool called Navisworks Export Utility, which will convert the RVT file into an NWC file. From the Add-ins tab, choose External Tools and click Navisworks 2011. Enter the Navisworks settings and make sure the box Convert Element Properties is checked, since this will ensure that we don't just get a limited set of properties. There are other settings under Model Performance that allow enabling compression of geometry. Be careful with this because you might lose model geometry if this is enabled. Also in Snapping, under the Interface branch, we can make sure that Snapping to Vertex and Edges are checked which affects how we will be able to navigate and manipulate the model later in Navisworks. Click Save to Export. We get an error message, but it seems rather minor since it only concerns a million. Let's choose to ignore this for now. Now let's export the structural model. After opening the model, let's navigate to a 3D view, and this time go to the main drop-down menu and choose Export, selecting IFC. All we need to do now is to save it. We'll do similarly to export the MEPHVC model, but this time to a DWG CAD file. From the main menu, choose Export and select AutoCAD to choose DWG DXF. Once in the dialog, change the export setting to In Session View and choose All Views and Sheets in the model. This generates a list where we can check those we want to export. Check to include the 3D view. Click on the DWG Properties tab where we will change the coordinate system basis to be shared, which ensures the model coordinates get read in Navisworks and thus ensures the alignment with the other models. Give it a meaningful name and save. From within an empty Navisworks file, we can now begin to aggregate the different model parts. First, we should confirm that the global option settings suit our project needs. On the Tools menu, click Global Options. Expand the Interface node in the Options Editor dialog box and click Display Units. Choose the linear units from the list, changing from meters to feet and inches. We can also check that our viewpoint default settings and our model performance are set accurately. Now let's begin opening our individual model files into this single viewing environment of Navisworks Manage. First, we will open the architectural model. Next, we can append the MEPHVACWG file. And finally, we can append the structural model, which is an IFC. Now we'll need to perform a transform to bring the structural model into alignment. We can accomplish this in one of two ways, either by repositioning by snapping or through manually entering the offset in each of the XYZ directions. Let's first look at the snapping mode. We will need to find a common vertex as a point of reference to snap the structural model to the architectural model. On the architectural model, we left retaining walls which are identical and congruent geometry to those of the structural retaining wall. So we are going to match up these two corners of the retaining walls to align the entire models. In the Measure drop-down, select Point to Point. Now select the bottom outer corner of the retaining wall in the structural model which gives us a three-axis icon. Next, click again on the same point in the architectural model, which will draw a line between these two points. Then, from the Review tab, in the pull-down menu, select Transform Selected Items, which results in the model being transformed in space from the first point to the second point. Then, with a the clear command, we can erase that measurement. Now, let's try transforming manually. Select the file in the Selection tree, then in Item Tools tab, 
First click Move, then click Transform to activate the pull-down. We'll enter negative 35 for the X and negative 10 for the Y offset. We'd imagine that we'd already measured these distances in the model to determine those exact offsets. Now we have a composite model of our architectural, structural, and HVAC models. This is the beginning and later we can add others such as our lighting and plumbing model. Now let's look at how we might save this composite model. Go to File, Save As, and Save as Composite Model NWF. NWF files are very useful formats because no geometry is saved, but rather a list of the appended files along with their path relative to the NWF file is saved, along with any overrides, comments, viewpoints, and other Navisworks specific information. This is our master NWF project file, which references the latest model files that we just brought into this environment. With the refresh command, the software will reload any model file that has been changed since the last load.